welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. To mark the upcoming Independence Day of Ukraine, we will have a meetup today with people who support us on the Patreon. Participants will be able to meet me, author and voice of the podcast, as well as to learn more about Ukraine and its people. It's not too late to join the party. Just for $5, you can both support the podcast team and get a chance to attend the meeting. You can find the link to the Patreon page in the description to this episode. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 178 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Ukrainian boxer Oleksandr Usyk defeated Anthony Joshua from the UK, reports Suspilne. The winner of yesterday's fight in Saudi Arabia had to be determined by the referees. In 12 rounds, the boxers did not knock each other out. This way, Usyk secured the status of super heavyweight world champion according to the WBA, WBO, IBF and IBO versions. All of the titles he won from Joshua last September in their first fight. The president of Ukraine congratulated Usyk with victory, saying that it was a difficult one, but so important and necessary. The president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, in his evening video address warned that Russia may try to do something particularly nasty, something particularly cruel, next week when Ukraine will be celebrating its Independence Day on August 24th. He stressed that one of the key tasks of the enemy is to humiliate Ukrainians, quote, to devalue our capabilities, our heroes, to spread despair, fear, to spread conflicts, unquote. Therefore, it's important never for a single moment to give in to this enemy pressure, not to wind ourselves up, not to show weakness, stressed Zelensky. The president called on Ukrainians to be strong enough to resist any enemy provocations and go all the way to Ukrainian victory. A quote-unquote parade of destroyed Russian military vehicles and equipment opened on Kyiv's main street Hreshatik yesterday, reports Suspilne. The exhibition was opened as part of the preparations for the celebration of the Independence Day of Ukraine. The visitors can see burned tanks, armored vehicles, trucks and other equipment. Advisor to the Minister of Defense Oleksiy Kopytko said that there will be a Russian parade in Kyiv, but not exactly the way it was imagined in the Kremlin. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine calls on the entire diplomatic community in Vienna, Austria, to boycott the permanent representative of the Russian Federation there, Mikhail Ulyanov and Austria to declare him persona non grata, reports Unian. Earlier, Ulyano wrote on his Twitter, quote, No mercy to the Ukrainian population, unquote. Later, he deleted the tweet. Ukrainian Foreign Ministry spokesman Oleg Nikolenko said that this genocidal language must not be tolerated. The Austrian foreign ministry called the Russian representative to explain himself and said that it is outraged by this statement. The general staff of Ukraine informs that the Russian forces tried to advance in the Donetsk region, but without visible success, reports Unyan. In some areas, fighting are ongoing. In the Mykolaiv region, the enemy managed to occupy the southern outskirts of the settlement of Blagodatne. Hostilities continue. Hungarian low-cost airline Vizair decided to postpone indefinitely the resumption of flights from Moscow to Abu Dhabi due to widespread criticism, reports Interfax Ukraine. Earlier, Vizair announced plans to renew flights in October. Since February, the company has suspended all its flights to Russia. Advisor to the head of the president's office Mikhailo Podolyak reminded that working with Russia is not about profit, but about destroying reputation. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine. Thank you.